All right, here we are at our 2007 Sun Tracker Party Cruiser 32 foot pontoon houseboat for sale. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This slip is transferable. If somebody wants to keep it right here, they will have that option to do so. This is a very popular Sun Tracker model that was made for a number of years. And I should point out that this one is sometimes sold with a trailer. There is not a trailer included with this one. Um, but again, it can transfer in this slip. If you're looking for something like this in the Norris Lake area, we can also arrange to have this transported to you. This is, um, I believe this is an eight and a half foot beam. Um, if you've got a 32 foot pontoon trailer or, or anything of that size, um, we'll just have to check your weight capacity, make sure that that can handle it. Uh, we've also got uh, transport options available if you're um, if you're in the uh, local area or, or really anywhere in the country we can have this boat transported to you because it is of trailerable size it's got a, uh, about a 10 foot bridge clearance on it so that means in the water you need at least 10 feet off of the water to get under covered slip um, and then on a trailer of course depending on the trailer um, your these were designed to be sitting on a trailer and underneath, I think it's the 13 foot is your legal limit over the highway. So, uh, but yeah, in the water, your clearance is, a, is about 10 feet. They call that the bridge clearance. Uh, and again, it's um, 32 feet long. Um, the LOA on this one's probably about 34 feet. Um, I believe the 32 is the length of the pontoons. Uh, but anyway, we are here for our video walkthrough tour. As usual, you'll be able to find the full list of specifications, features, current asking price, as well as all of our contact information all over our website, which is at www.yournewboat.com. Now, for your convenience, there will be a direct link to the uh, listing page for this one at our website down in the video description. So if you just stumbled across this on YouTube, um, number one, if you want to make sure it's still available, just look in the title. If the title does not say sold, it is still available. Um, once a model is sold, it is uh, the videos taken out of our current listings playlist and put into our sold boat playlist, but we also will change the title to sold. So if you're not seeing that, um, then chances are this one is still going to be available. And again, for your convenience, so you don't have to, uh, to type it in down in that video description, there will be a direct link to this one. You can either copy and paste um, or click on that link. Um, that's going to take you right to the listing page for this one where it's going to have uh, like I said, all that contact information. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever's most convenient for you. We do like to remind people if you send us an email, have not seen an email reply back in, in one business day, check your spam folder. And if you call us on the phone, you want a return phone call, all you have to do is leave us a message. If you leave us a detailed message, let us know which list you're looking at, what questions you have. As soon as we either finish with the customer or return to sell service area, we'll receive your message, return your call, answer all those questions for you. So I'm going to go ahead and step in onto our, uh, our front porch area. We've got, as you can see, we've got three entry gates on this one. You've got a small lump there in the bow, which is where we've got a, a small little stainless Springfield gas grill mounted. And then we've got two large ones over here on, um, on either side, on both your port and your starboard side. We've got some storage integrated underneath your lounge seats up here um your your cruise seats both port starboard side this is a removable lounge table meaning you can pull that table out stow it away and you've also got a little um movable dual cup holder got a little bracket right here and all you do is kind of wedge that into that seat and that allows you to take that anywhere you like it so all right Let's head on in here. So this one's kind of like half pontoon, half houseboat. Front half is, is mostly pontoon. Now there's no bimini top with this one, but I have seen people put a uh, bimini top on here. And again, because this is basically a pontoon boat, uh, that's just going to be your standard bimini. Um, if you're someone that, that really likes shade or needs shade, um, just about any pontoon bimini frame, um, as long as it's uh, confirmed the width on it, we'll be able to go on the um, the front half of this boat now if you want more of a custom look I would uh, um, there are canvas shops in our area most uh, canvas shops around the lake will be capable of um, essentially making a bimini and they would add you a little strip that you can have connected here um, to that little bit of overhang you've got right there in front of that that cabin door and in that way that that bimini can be fully shaded uh, possibly going as far as the uh, the bow of the boat um, t 
to your cabin. So it really just depends on the individual and what your needs are. So here in the cabin, we do have, before I show you our helm, we've got a dual therm, brisk air, roof mount, air conditioning unit. This is basically an RV style roof unit. Um, it does not have the optional heat strip, uh, but the, the AC is working uh, quite well on this one. She had it running a little bit earlier while we were photographing it, just turned it off. All right, here at your driver's helm, we've got a tilt steering wheel. We've got a low rants uh, depth finder, uh, integrated Ritchie compass, and then we've got uh, your tachometer, engine oil pressure, engine water temperature, your fuel gauge, and your drive trim. It's going to be this bottom one right here. Uh, we've got, I believe, about a 30 gallon uh, fuel tank on board. And this is powered by a Mercruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder inboard outboard stern drive engine with alpha one out drive. Now we have function tested everything up here. You've got a working blower. We have got a working bilge pump, which is um, for the um, engine compartment area. Okay, um, I don't know if you, if you noticed that or if that, if that caught anybody else's eye. This is a pontoon boat, so most are not gonna have a bilge pump, but this is an inboard outboard powered boat. So we've got a, uh, an engine hatch back here. So that's what that bilge pump is for. We do have some courtesy lights. Let's see if these will show up. These are a little bit dim um, in our, uh, just because it's daytime here, but we've got some small little courtesy lights that kind of oh, yeah. turn those on and off that are going to be underneath those front cruise seats. That's your courtesy lights right here. Uh, we do have a functional horn. <coughs> And we've also got your docking lights. We have function tested those. Uh, so again, uh, bilge and your blower, your docking lights and your navigation lights all, all pass function testing just fine. Now this one's rated for 15. Oh, before we leave the helm area here, we've also got a Garmin. This is a GPS map 535S. This is a combination uh, chart plotter or depth and fish finder sonar um, made by Garmin. We've got a split screen up here. You can customize these screens. You can, if you don't like the nav charts, um, you can do something else. Um, well, if you don't like the nav charts, you've also got the fish finder display. Um, I like doing the split. I like um, having a uh, fish finder up and then also um, having a chart plotter uh, when you have that. It's also gonna uh, have a GPS speed readout and your, uh, your heading there is gonna tell you which direction you're heading. So. Um, oh, your your different map screens are customizable. I guess is what I was uh, what I was getting at here. Um, oh, I'll show you a couple here. So you can go into your chart plotter, hit select on there. You can do the um, let's see. You can do this one's going to be more like. Uh, let's see if that can come into your view here. That's that's basically oh, okay. Yeah, it's just taking a second load. That's kind of showing you your terrain. Uh, that's, that's a pretty cool little look around the lake and some some people will find that a little bit more helpful if you have trouble kind of orienting yourself with the map um, something like that might be might be useful for you so you got that uh, the Mariners 3d eye and then um, this one here is going to be kind of um, a look under the boat um, it's kind of going to get a sonar reading of what the lake bottom looks like so that that can be very helpful to uh, to some as well no, I'm sorry, that's that's above the water. Uh, but that's showing you basically from the view down at the water surface. Also, that can be useful for some people. Now your different um, sonar charts, and this is kind of your standard one right here. So there's your three options of those. Now on your uh, sonar, you've got different um, views of this. Uh, these are all mostly gonna be Yeah, so you've got this one here. That's going to be your depth finder, uh, your water temp displayed right there. And then let me get you back to this. Can be your standard chart. It's going to be this full screen. And then right there, take you right back to where we started there with that split screen. Okay. Now, so what I was getting ready to say, this one is rated for 15. Uh, oh, speaking of that um, that engine earlier, we're going to see more of that here in just a few. But this is our engine hour meter. So we've got 200. Let's get that showed without the... Um, yeah, 277 engine hours. Uh, right at 277 even. Um, so. Normally we would round that up, but um, it's right there at 277 on the nose. We'll probably leave it at that. 
Now, you've got two convertible little sofas. Um, you've also got, this is another mount for um, either one of those removable lounge tables. And you've only seen one so far. You're gonna see another one here in just a moment. Um, this is essentially a small little futon. You can drop that down. Now this comes in almost at um, uh, full size bed measurements. This is a, roughly about uh, six feet long by about, I think it's about 45 inches wide. I think full size is gonna be 46. Uh, so, and there's two of these, exact same size. There is a little bit of storage underneath of here. Um, and you've also got two water tanks, and this is gonna be one of those. Um, you've got, and now we'll have the exact uh, capacity of that one listed at the website. Make a close that. Um, and you've got another water right over here by your sink. So. Um, and this is just where Sun Tracker kind of keeps the cost down a little bit. Instead of having one large tank and running water lines to all those, they simply put, uh, you're gonna have a water tank here. It's gonna be for your um, your uh, bathroom. Um, and then your you've got a water here. It's gonna be for your little galley sink. And you've also got a, um, a gray water tank. Um, actually, this one here's your fresh water tank. One behind it, there's your gray water tank. Um, so you've actually got two of those. If you're in an area where uh, gray water collection is required, you're, you're already set up there. Now then, so small little stainless sink. Um, moving back a little bit more before we go into the other galley equipment. I do want to show you, this is a Jensen. This is a AM, FM, CD, auxiliary input, um, NOAA weather band satellite ready stereo we have four speakers throughout the boat we've got um actually we've got um four sets of speakers you've got um kind of your uh, your jensen uh your your typical marine um stereo speaker and then you've got small little tweeter right here as well four of these sets um two sets are here in the cabin and two are up here underneath your bow lounge seats up here there and there all right. Now that is the only thing we've been unable to function test um, are our uh, stereo speakers and some of our uh, cabin lights. Um, everything else here did pass function testing. Um, now your other galley equipment is going to be a uh, small little Norco. This is a, a 12 volt or electric uh, refrigerator. Got a small little freezing apartment there. So that means this can be powered when you're underway. Uh, simply off your your battery power and then also whenever you're uh, in the slip plugged into power um, It's going to run off your AC power or generator power Small little breaker panel right here. This is going to be your transfer switch from your shore power to your generator power um, And this is going to be your battery charger right here. It's your converter. You know, you've, you've got um, Breakers for all these as well. Uh, these are not labeled. Um, I happen to know this one is for the microwave um, you're, you're, one of those breakers is going to be for the probably the refrigerator. One's going to be for the air conditioning. And let's see, uh, microwave, fridge, AC. Yeah, I'm not missing anything. Um, and then, it, uh, then you probably got an extra for some of the other uh, um, outlets um, that are going to be found throughout. Uh, speaking of outlets, we've got a 12 volt power outlet just up here behind the helm, right here. Keep your uh, devices charged and then we're gonna have where's the other outlets oh we got another outlet right here at your uh, converter box which is conveniently located right here um, at your galley area so again onboard uh, onboard ba battery charger small little integrated microwave and then again that's your uh, that's your Janssen AM FM CD auxiliary input satellite ready NOAA weather band uh, stereo with uh, four four speaker sets throughout two cabin two in the uh, the bow. So All right, let's go ahead and turn and directly across. Let me step back here so you can see where I'm at um, So you got the your your small old galley fridge microwave sink Stereo and then uh, directly across from there. This is your head compartment Now we um, this one has a small little sink right here. This is going to double as your shower um and that is there's no hot water on board this is this is kind of like a camper on pontoons um but, and, but again this this water 
draw is going to be coming from that one. I'm going to estimate that at probably around somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 gallons. And you're probably going to have about the same on the other side. So combined, you're probably going to be carrying around 20 gallons. Uh, but again, uh, refer to our website for those tank capacities. And not what I'm saying here in the video tour. I'm not trying to mislead you. We're just saying uh, the actual capacity will be listed over there on our website. Again, that direct link is down in that video description. That is there for your convenience. And then we've got a, um, a large uh, Thetford um, porta potty. And then, of course, you've got the drain right there in the, uh, the, the base of that head compartment. That is uh, for whenever you're using it as a shower. So, uh, sink, shower, and porta potty. All right, then stepping on through. Now, I should point out uh, we do have these glass sliding doors on both sides of your cabin. This is kind of the main cabin area here. And then you've also got screen uh, sliding doors at both uh, the bow and uh, the stern of your main cabin here. That one just needs the uh, foot back, pop back into the track there. Slide that one back in place. Okay. Now, so um, so here's another area of the boat. Now we've got the um, Isinglass canvas enclosures around the exterior, uh, but we also have this hard top going all the way back. All of this canvas is removable, so really depending on how you're using the boat might determine how you use your canvas here. Um, if there's only um, you know one. Two of you staying overnight, you're staying in the main cabins, so you can close those doors, run that AC. Um, then this area here, you might end up um, removing this canvas altogether during the summer months, um, whenever you don't need it. But we've got, you've got the privacy curtain here. Okay, we've got this rolled up. You're gonna be able to drop that down and that's that's gonna give you your, your privacy. Um, that's gonna be your privacy um, canvas. You've also got a screen integrated in here. Uh, this large back one, you've got a smaller door and another side window. So you've got four screens that are going to give you airflow. You just simply unzip, unzip this. And you do the exact same thing here that we did with this privacy uh, screen. You're just gonna roll that up and you've got another little strap here. It's gonna come over. This strap's gonna raise right up, hook right into that one. So you're gonna give yourself some ventilation here during the summer months. So if you are using this area for your overnights, then you're probably gonna be um, keeping these, keeping those eyes and glass uh, screens rolled up, get you some nice ventilation during the day, and then the ability to drop those to either have the privacy curtain or the uh, enclosed uh, canvas in the evenings. This is your other, um, Berth. Uh, so again, this is about six feet by about 45 inches, and that also is going to work just like the one in the main cabin. That's going to slide out. Another removable lounge table right here. That one gets a little bit in the way whenever you do slide that one out. So that uh, removable lounge table gets pulled off of there, and then that one's also going to make a bed for uh, additional sleeping space. Again, depending on how you're using this, if you're not using this area, um, these these um, well, as a general rule, you do not want to go through the summer with these eyes and glass um, enclosures rolled up in that uh, rolled up position because they're just gonna create more wear. They're gonna get weathered pretty easily um, and not really gonna be able to recover that. So if you leave this up during the summer months, what you wanna do is, is leave those down. And then actually you would probably end up just dropping your uh, your privacy uh, screens down as well, just to kind of cut down on some of that heat because it doesn't, uh, in the fall, if you're using this in cooler weather, get a little bit of sunlight on those, it kind of warms this area up. Uh, so, but it, it can it can be a little bit too warm sometimes in the summer months. So, summertime, um, you probably if you're if you're find yourself leaving those uh, windows up, the plastic in, in uh, plastic eyes and glass rolled up uh, for extended periods, you probably want to look into removing those. So that's just a good little tip for you there to kind of save you some wear and tear. Those those canvas enclosures are very very nice, uh, great features to have, but uh, you do want to take good care of them. All right, now our engine room on this one is actually integrated right in here. We've already got these snaps uh, undone so that I can raise our engine hatch. Our, our fuel tank is actually gonna be in a separate compartment right here. This is just a little service hatch for it right in here. Again, that's a 30 gallon um, capacity fuel tank. This right here is gonna be your, your engine compartment. This is that area I was telling you about earlier. This is where our bilge pump is. Um, so this is a, again, this is a Mercruiser. 3.0 liter turnkey start 
little inline four cylinder inboard outboard engine uh, alpha one outdrive we've got dual batteries back here and this uh, this engine also has the uh, the easy drain feature now Merc Cruiser does call that an an easy drain feature and not a winterize feature all that is doing is going to drain uh, the water out of the engine block uh, but it is important to not solely rely on that for your winterization uh, sometimes all that water does not drain and, um, and and ideally you want to displace that water with antifreeze so and, and again about um, basically under 300 hours on um, on our engine here so it's a 2000 and um, well, it's a 2007 model. This engine was manufactured in December of 2006. Um, the boat is a 2007. I believe after about August, they start they start calling it the next year model. So that's, that's gonna be the manufacturer date to no six. That's gonna be referred to as a 2007 engine. Now, as you probably already figured out, this is gonna be your, um, your entry exit door right here. And again, th this entire um, door here can even roll up. So if you're in and out of here a lot, um, you can you can roll this entire panel right here. I've got it unzipped on both sides. That entire panel will, will roll up. But I'm just stepping through the corner of it, and then I'm gonna actually step off of the dock just so you can get a good look at the back of the boat right here. We do have a three-step swim boarding ladder. Um, I believe I mentioned this earlier. Those are about 26-inch diameter pontoons. And there's that Alpha One outdrive. Again, 277 hours on it. We do have a water pump here on your on your slide simply flip that switch you hear that water come on see your water coming down the slide there so i'm gonna head up our ladder here because i'm going to show you our roof area and give you a look down that slide as well all right so this is basically an rv style roof and this this is meant to hold people you want to be very careful with furniture up here though because this is an rv style roof uh you 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 can put furniture up here you just want to be very careful on what you put up here so that it is not uh damaging this this uh rubber membrane here uh for your roof here's your uh ac and if you look down onto your your bow there right there and I'm gonna turn around this area here so yeah so these these rails right here these are low profile just to cut down on your overall height for uh the, you know the times that you do put this on a trailer again this has about a 10 foot bridge clearance right now with it sitting in the water um and then back here this is going to be your generator hookup little 1500 watt honda generators do great with this this model boat um they're quiet they're fuel efficient this is going to be your 30 amp hookup for it and I don't believe Sun Tracker did this from the factory. This this may have been added um, after the fact. Uh, this is a nice piece of aluminum that has been mounted to your roof here. Looks like it's been caulked in as well. Um, that's to provide a good a good solid location for that uh, for that generator. This is your um, your anchor light right here. That's that's just on a little clamp right here. You'll be able to take that up and down. And they've they've just just lowered it down just uh, to make sure they don't hit it coming in out of your slip here. All right, so there's a look down that water slide. So now this is the part of the video where we start going around showing you any wear and tear we noticed. Um, this one's in really good shape for its age. Um, could use a little clean in here on your, your slide, look maybe a little bit on your rooftop. But uh, overall, the boat, the upholstery, uh, carpeting, all appears to be in good shape. Got a little bit of wear on, um, on, the, on your canvas. And actually this section right back here, next to your three-step swim boarding ladder. This is probably the most worn area of the boat. This is a, um, a lower maintenance vinyl flooring um, that they've used back here. Or does that continue through? Okay, yep, you've got a strip right there where it's gonna transition to carpet right as you go inside. Um, so you can just tell it's it's got seen a little weathering out here. Uh, but this is this is the, the nicer stuff, a little bit easier to take care of. Now, um, exterior. Most of your wear and tear, honestly, is in your uh, your vinyl decaling on the sides, um, the side walls of this boat. You now you've got a lot of these vinyl decals that are kind of peeling up some. A um, little bit of wear. You can't quite tell what's going on on your that um, up here on your kind of your your roof uh, railing, I guess you'd call that, even though it's it's kind of minimal. I um, can't quite tell if that's a little dent up there or if that's just a, a stain or, or what happened there. 
um, kind of in a few spots up here on the roof. Everything structurally looks fine. Um, and then, like I said, you've, you've got uh, some weathering in those decals on the side of the cabin. A poster up here on the, um, basically all the upholstery looks like it was in really good shape. We did not notice any rips or tears. A uh, little bit of kind of maybe some staining right here on this seat right here. Um, I guess I would probably call that some scratches, um, but it, it has not kind of punctured that uh, vinyl surface. This is a, a nice quality vinyl on this one. Um, and everything really looks good. Other than maybe some light stains, um, yeah, exact same thing over here on this this side right here. Again, maybe almost like a, a scratch or a scuff on there. Uh, a few little maybe stain marks right in there. Um, everything else looks really good. We'll, we'll um, make sure I didn't miss anything here on the inside. Final wise, okay, yeah, everything looks good in here. So let me let's let's go back over to the exteriors. Continue where I left off, showing you that vinyl decaling up here uh, closer to the bow um, your your vinyl stripes in much better shape this might be a little bit of a of a ding right here where this um, aluminum fencing is kind of making that turn right there it's your navigation light it's your docking light again we function tested both those a few little scratches down here on your pontoons so those are aluminum pontoons and a little bit of a dent on that uh, little wave deflector right there now uh, this is not a a super high performance boat you're gonna run expect speeds in I'd say probably around somewhere between 14 16 miles an hour from what i recall this model with that uh that little four cylinder um inboard outboard um that does not appear to be a scratch uh but maybe a stain of some kind and then i think we've got a little bit of some light dents um and this is a little wear area here maybe some light dents just in this uh smaller entry gate uh, a little bit of wear on that rub rail up here too on the corner that's what it's there for. Here's a look below deck. And then coming back over here, port side corner, also a few marks up here on your on your rub rail. Wave, de wave deflector looks um, free from any marks on this side. And then again, you, you've just got again some wear in that uh, vinyl striping coming down this side. A um, few little scratches down here on that pontoon right about the center of the frame now just up from the water line and then again on the kind of main cabin that uh some of that vinyl decaling has it's mostly worn all the way off you can kind of see a little bit of a um a little bit of weathering from where it was that it's left behind and then that trend's going to continue on back to this part of the boat so again, this slip is transferable. It can stay right here where it currently is, here on Norris Lake. And again, uh, visit the website for the full list of specifications, features, all that good stuff, as well as our contact information. Again, you'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever's the most convenient for you. Maybe may a little bit of a ding if the light hits it just right. It's about the center of the frame right now. A little bit of a ding in that pontoon. Again, those are 26 inch uh, diameter pontoons. I believe these are com compartmentalized. Uh, you can almost see the little weld um, seam right there. Another one right there where they put that midship cleat. So, but yeah, we've, we've sold uh, several of these models in the past. They're a very popular boat. Um, essentially, it's a um, great way to get on the water for the weekend, not have to go home. These are great weekenders. Um, seen people do, um, even longer than that stays on them but yeah it, it's it's essentially a small little uh, camper on pontoon so it's a great way to enjoy the water great way to uh to spend more quality time out in the water and uh get out away from everything go out park in a cove float for a whole weekend if you want to you've got uh, you got the fridge you've got uh, you take most of your essentials with you so again visit the website for more information
and that's going to wrap things up here for us today again this is the 2007 sun tracker party cruiser 32 foot pontoon house boat for sale here in the beautiful fresh waters of north lake tennessee two things will be coming up on your screen right now top left hand corner is going to be a shortcut to go to our current listings playlist there at our, uh, at our youtube channel top right hand corner is going to be a shortcut to subscribe to our youtube channel and that will notify you anytime we put post a new video or a new listing goes up uh, just hit that subscribe button top right hand corner if you haven't already we're happy to have you and i thank you again for joining us